Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play RimWorld. All of our tribe members are snuggled up in their beds. Well, actually, they're just laying on a uh, constructed limestone floor. Probably not the most comfortable night's sleep, but be beats sleeping outside, I guess. Um, we just kind of commandeered that structure right there to sleep in the night, and we got a little bit of a plan going on. Not uh, not really too much progress, but uh, but but we'll, we'll, we'll take care of that in this episode. Um, uh, we need to kind of get to know our colonists a little bit better because, to tell you the honest truth, I've already forgotten <laughs> who they are and what they do. Uh, so we will get to that right after the intro. All right, Cam is already woken up and having a little bit of breakfast, uh, pemmican. Getting, getting ready to take on the day. Everybody else is still kind of sleeping. I guess, I guess Cam is our early riser. Um, he has a chemical fascination, a quick sleeper. Okay, that would explain why he's up early, as well as trigger happy. Shooting accuracy minus five, aiming time minus 50%. Let's see, we gave you the bow. And I kind of remember looking at that, that, that that's actually, that's actually turns out to be a good thing in the long run, depending on the weapon they're running. Uh, let's see, what else does he have for, going for him? Nothing really. He's just kind of our uh, kind of our general type person. A little bit of animals. Uh, nothing really else. You're you're primarily doing hauling right now. Uh, reindeer. Our next guy is tunneler and a fast walker. He's a quick constructor. That is a that that seems like a very good uh, combination to me. You want your you want your constructor to be able to move pretty quick. Our muffalo shaman. Panther. Panther's gonna be doing animals, it looks like. Ah, yeah, the creepy breathing. The guy that's obsessed with animals and <laughs> is a creepy breather. Uh, greedy, as well as too smart. Okay, and Lacarosa. She's 35. She is our grower. She is a nervous, pessimist, and jealous. These are not good uh, combinations to have. And let's see, we have uh, an animal. It's a hare. I'm not worried about it. I'm sure Cam will take care of that in their own time. Um, thank you, Cam, for just walking in there and waking everybody up. Really appreciate it. Uh, middle break threshold of eight. Pessimist, a permanent mood effect. And jealous. You're gonna you're gonna not like being in that bedroom. So you are going to have all kinds of things. You're a pessimist. You don't have a decent barrack. And uh, oh, you have a you have a lover. You're in you're in love with Cam. Aw. Um. Let's see, Gray. What, what do you got going on? You're a psychopath, and you're also lazy. Global work speed minus twenty percent, which isn't a great combination with our cook. But um, but that that'll work. We'll make it work out. All right, Cam's already up and chopping trees. Looks like uh, Lacrosa, Lacarosa, Lacarosa, Lac. Uh, uh, we'll call her Lac. I I'm not going to say Lacarosa every every single time. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and draft her. See if she will take care of the Mad Hair. Panther, why don't you go and help out? Oh, if I right-click on it, does it just do that now? Cool. All right, so there is the hair taken care of. Um, let's see, I already forgot who our constructor was, and we just looked at it. Um, that is going to be Reindeer, and he's still sleeping. Uh, so let's give him a little bit of work to do. Um, I think we want to go ahead and set up our area down here, and hopefully it won't take him too long. Uh, we'll have our kitchen set up right there. And uh, I think we'll want to make like a pathway just on either side like that. We want a doorway going up into here. I want that offset a little bit. We need a door going out. I don't think so. I think that'll work. I think that'll all be fine. And that. And we'll probably have an entrance maybe right here. Seems like it would make sense. All right, and we can do that, and he can get—they can all get to work. We're paused here. I'm assuming it has to do with the mad, 
animal that's dead. I'm sure it'll all get taken care of here very soon. Um, okay, so we left that open. I, I don't know if we need to leave that open. I don't know if we need to have an entrance down there. So what I may do is actually redo all these plans right here because I think I want to make the bedrooms a little bit bigger. I don't think it was four. I think it was actually five. Five by three is what we had for our bedroom sizes. So yeah, that big. Hmm, that's going to conflict. Well, I mean, it's going to conflict, but it's not going to conflict for a very, very, very long time. We are a ways off from, from geothermal power. So, yeah, yeah, I think, I think, I think we'll just leave it for now. And do this area five. I'm being very clumsy. And uh, we'll, we'll have that area right there for some bedrooms. And we can take it off that way if we need to, and even put an entrance down here if we so desire. But we can make, like, this over here be, like, a main entrance to the base that we can defend. And I think, I think that'll end up working out pretty good. Um, I think, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just say, you know, hey, go ahead, go ahead and build all these if you can get around to it. We'll just do, like, the main parts of it. Uh, because getting individual bedrooms, it's not the most important thing in the world, but it's not, not the most important thing. It'll certainly, certainly help with moods and stuff starting out. Uh, so all that can get done. And that'll, that'll give us a good start on things to do today. Now, Panther, are you constructing as well? No, you're not, but you are hauling the things out there. So it looks like, um... Am I seeing that uh, the mod hand me that brick has been uh, integrated in? Because I don't think I have that enabled. And it looks like he's going out and, and just hauling all of the things, um, as is Cam. All right, they're just they're just laying it all out. Ah, huh, interesting. Uh, we're getting our major break risk for Panther, which is not what I was expecting. I would expect our. Yeah, you just got all kinds of stuff, and it looks like Insulted was the one that took you over the edge. Gray called Panther's nephew a cobra. Yep, that'll do it. That'll do it every time. Gray. Gray, gray, gray. You psychopath. <laughs> Wow, so that combination right there with Reindeer's build speed, or walking speed, you would think that that would just make him go crazy. And he's not doing bad. I think we're going to have no problem getting a lot of this stuff just uh, built up by the end of the day. We're uh, 15 hours in. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not the end of today. But we'll at least get a big chunk of things done. Uh, I'm not sure what the rest of you are out doing. I don't know if I've done any harvest orders. It looks like I probably did, but we might want to get some more. We got some new textures on the bushes. I think it makes it a little bit more obvious that uh, there is fruit there. I'm liking that. Sometimes it was a little bit difficult uh, to detect the bushes that had fruit on them, especially if you were uh, zoomed out. 
but I think we need to, to grab grab some of those and I, if we have some animals around here we might want to get those hunted as well like maybe that raccoon maybe that rat Actually, you know what? Go ahead and hold off on that because we're not gonna we're not gonna be able to have a butcher table open or anything like that yet. All right, well, reindeer, I was I was praising your your build speed, and uh, it just really doesn't look like it really happened. Even though your construction is ten. I think you'd spend a lot of time clearing out trees and stuff like that. I mean, you're going through the walls pretty quick. You just weren't weren't focusing. Which is which is fine. Uh, what I may do is let's see. Let's put a bed in here and put a couple of beds in here and let's deconstruct that one and that one and maybe that one. And that'll split them up a little bit. My thought with this is that, you know, two of them sleep up there, one of them in there, two of them in there. It's going to gonna help minimize the amount of um, disturbed sleep items we get. And let's take... Um, let's see. Um, Lacrosa. You were jealous, and Gray was jealous. Cam was jealous. Panther was jealous. Panther's greedy. So, Panther, uh, set owner, Panther, and Lacrosa, you guys stay up in there. It, it's, it's not the best in the world, but it's, I don't know, I don't even know if it's going to make a difference at all. But it feels like it should because uh, the bedroom's nicer. It's got nice floors and things like that. It's better than sleeping in the dirt. Well, reindeer, you're going to work into the night, and I do not like that bear. We have a bear and a wolf hanging out. Neither one of those can, can turn into goodness. I think we'll uh, try to make it through the night, and boy, we may have to we may have to address those in the morning. Sorry about that little cut there. Uh, we had a little issue with, uh, with 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 things just wanting to pop up on my screen and tell me that there are things that need to happen on my computer. I miss the days when computers just ran programs. I miss those days. Luckily, we had a uh, a save. Auto save that kicked in at midnight, so we're we're right back. <laughs> we got right back to the spot. Um, it happened just as they were waking up. Oh boy, I swear things. Computers, computers. So yeah, we were talking about we were talking about the bear, um, the bear and the wolf. I think. Let's see, which one of these is tougher? And we tell uh, melee DPS three point four three. Okay, that was the wolf, and let's take a look at the bear, which is five point three. So the 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 wolf is significantly t easier, not significantly easier, but but definitely easier. We'll just we'll just we'll just keep an eye on them. Major your break risk on Panther. Do you not like your uh, Do you not like your bedroom? Unsightly environment. I wish I didn't have to look at all this stuff. I slept in a decent barrack, but I really dislike sharing a sleeping space. Well, you know, that's just the way that that's going to go. All right, Cam is up and Gray is up. We have our bear out there and letting us know we need defenses. I do agree. Mm, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um, everybody's here. Let's uh, go ahead and pull everybody up. 
Let's see. Lack, what are you? You're a shooter. You're not gonna like it. Let's uh let's bring you in. Uh reindeer, let's get you out front. Panther, get you out front. Gray, you stay in the back. Ham, you stay in the back. And yeah, melee. And let's 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 take that down a bit. All right. Well, that was that was fairly easy. That was that was no big deal at all. Let's uh, go ahead and finish that off. You guys can go do your things. And uh, we can we can start we can start doing stuff uh, with this. Uh, we need uh, furniture. Uh, we have a new item. What is that? Would that be in our production? Yes, we have a butcher spot. Which is uh, like a butcher table, but requires a lot less resources. Um, did we not make... We did. It's right here. Uh, let's put our butcher spot. Let's put it in here. Oh, and all my keybinds are, are reset due to the new version. Let's put it... Uh, let's put it right here. And add a bill to Butcher Creatures, and just do that forever. And uh, we'll go ahead and get that taken care of, and let's see, we can do a campfire? I believe you can cook with a campfire. I actually don't remember if, if I've cooked with a campfire before because um, you can cook with a campfire, or if... I've cooked with a campfire before because it was some mod that I had installed. Grizzly bear starting to get a little bit hungry, so we'll just hope that uh, that that he. I, I don't think there's any conflict with, with any mods. I mean, I'm not showing any mods installed. That is actually a really good change. I, I like that. And and from reading over some of the notes, it looks like there may be a version of uh, uh, kind of a, a little bit similar uh, functionality to uh, the while you're up mod as well. That being the case, um, that is actually some pretty exciting stuff. Why don't you you're building a wooden wall? Yeah. Um, okay. So can we can we do that? We add a bill to. We can make make it cook a simple meal. Yes, we can. Uh, we don't want to do that forever. We want to do until we have X. Um, till we have ten, and where is the ah? Pause when satisfied. Actually, you know what? We don't want to pause when satisfied. We just want to do 10. And we only want to do... We only want to do meat. Oh, and I probably didn't want to... Oh, we're not going to have bug meat or anything like that anytime soon. Uh, that'll be that'll be fine. Let's take the ingredient radius down a little bit. Um, and the reason why I'm only doing meat is because uh, meat, like by itself, like this meat right here, um, spoils in two days. Ah, oh, spoils in two days, huh? That seems quick. Let's look at the wolf meat when it gets out here. Spoils in two days. I feel like that, that increased. Maybe it didn't. Maybe I'm just making that up. Anyway, uh, that spoils in two days. The meals spoil in three days, so that gives us an extra day. Uh, whereas things like berries... Um, they spoil in 13 days, so if we turn those into a meal, we'd actually get less time out of them. One of those things you have to kind of think about a little bit if you don't have refrigeration. I don't know, I may be overthinking it. That is certainly a possibility. Uh, Panther, what do you got going on here? I don't care about the sleeping spot. I don't really care about the info either. Okay, you are, you're, you're bandaged and stuff, so that is good. Bears still hanging around. This is why I'm glad we have, we don't have those Yorkies, those starting Yorkies, because they would definitely be bear food. 
Um, depending on where he's at when his hunger gets down, he may want to go attack one of us, or we certainly seem to be the close available targets. We've got one of our rooms here. Let's go ahead and set this up right here as a room, and we'll go ahead and put uh, black in there. And uh, let's get a, a stockpile going as well for, for, for this garbage stone. Maybe like, so... This is going to be, we're going to have like workshops up in this area. So it seems like it would be good to put, ah, uh, we'll put it, we'll put it right here for now. And we do not want corpses. We just want chunks there. All right, let's get these hauled out. Um, these hauled out and all of these hauled out and any of these others that are going to be in the way of just general mobility. All right, well, they're going to start to uh, harvest the berries right now. Well, unless they fail. Boy, I hope uh, not a whole lot of those are, are failing. It'd be a shame, how many berries do we have? We have 67? seems good. Uh, Gray is converting those over to meals. Spoils in 3.9 days. Okay, so I feel like that bumped up to, to four days. So we're still, we're doubling the life of the meat whenever we do that. Granted, it doesn't seem like we got a whole lot of it out of it. But, hey, you know, what are you going to do? Deteriorating because of outdoors. All right, so it's not enough to uh, just cover something now. You actually have to enclose it. Interesting. Well, um, that's new. <laughs> that's new and something we definitely need to do. Uh, so, yeah, I think we will get to that in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.